morning, we're in Sure Acres uh, Manufactured Home Community in Manasquan, New Jersey. This particular house is 90% done. And today we're introducing Don Boyer from Redmond Homes. He's the quality control manager. Um, so let us, let everybody know what we're doing today. Hi, today we're going to be working with PFS doing a blower door test or an air, air seal test on the home for Energy Star qualifications. Uh, we perform this test once a year to stay certified with the federal government on Energy Star. So handling this test today is going to be Jake and Daryl from PFS. So why don't you introduce yourselves? I'm Daryl Weaver. I'm with PFS. I'm the training supervisor. I'm Jake Fitzpatrick, uh, quality assurance auditor. So tell me about your background. Well, 45 years in the modular and manufactured housing. I've been with PFS for 22 years. So, and have been doing Energy Star for 15, 20 years. So, and around here. All right. So the testing. I have a little bit less experience. Uh, two years uh, in the modular industry mostly. Uh, but I have a background in building science and sustainable design, which is where I got into the energy testing side Very of cool. construction. And you just went to Pittsburgh for certification? To get a, a Building Housing Institute certified. Okay. Yeah, on the Great. Energy Star. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, what we're doing is we're testing the envelope of the house, which means everything has to be sealed out. And we'll be setting up a blower door on the back door here, and then we'll be running the test so it meets the uh, meets the minimum requirement. And what is it you're looking for? What is just air leakage? Air leakage. Air leakage. Or infiltration. Yeah. Or okay. infiltration, either or. That's why it's called Energy Star Certified because it has that level of. Right. It, it's a combination. You have design packages. So you have the insulation, you have water heaters, you have, you know, the, the design of what's designed, the windows with the U value. Mm -hmm. uh, Basically, it, how you control the energy usage of the home. So if you overcompensate with the heating or cooling system, if you have too much or too little air infiltration, uh, it could really send some of your budgeting out of whack. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, we do a lot of our videos explaining the difference between a trailer mm -hmm. and a mobile home and culturally everyone uses that language for this type of housing mm -hmm. and I try to explain to them through our videos that this is a manufactured yeah. house and it's built to it's keep your different. utility costs down. Yeah. Right, right. Awesome. The other thing is, is it's also a secure or a safety issue because if your house is too tight, mm -hmm. which sometimes they're, they're building them now units that are real tight, so you don't have the proper air exchange, then what you have to do then is introduce air from the outside, either through a fan or whatever it may be. But in most cases, these are usually always, you know, because you have your bathroom vents, you have your, uh, you have your kitchen vents, you know, which provide enough, usually enough. Yeah, for the size uh, but there are it is. Basically what you're doing is you're building a balloon and making sure that it holds air. Okay. That's a simple explanation. Of that. And how often do you go around doing these tests? Well, <laughs> we're supposed to be doing them once a year, come through, but with our schedules, what we've been doing, and again, it, it's up to the manufacturer to make sure, you know. So do you do them once a year for the manufacturer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys do them all the time? Well, yeah. Once yeah. a week? Yeah. How often do you no, go no, out? No, 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 okay. no, because we don't have that many Once every few months? Okay, yeah. Yeah. very we nice. We don't have that many manufacturers. Okay. Uh, I mean, that build the HUD. I mean, we have a lot of manufacturers, a lot of product, but for Energy Star, it's, you know, and then they have to list it through Energy Star. We see if it's low, and then that again goes back to the uh, the dealer, making sure that they send the proper information in, and that way he can record it, and then we can verify it, and then we'll go through and test it. Because oh, if you yeah. say it's not Energy Star, you know you don't have it finished. Right. Then we can't do anything. Right. Well, we're really honored that we were chosen for this. Yeah. Let's get on with it. That's great. Thank you very All much right. for coming. Okay. Thank you for having us. All right, we're going to get set up in here. This company, PFS, is a third party inspection agency that Redmond uses. Yeah, so they provide for Redmond, they provide our print approvals. So, like with this house, with any design changes, it has to go through PFS to be approved to make sure that the home meets code requirements, make sure when we're shifting rooms or flipping rooms or stretching the home that we stay within uh, HUD guidelines and that we do not venture out of that. So they approve our print, then it comes back to us 
And then one, one to two times a week, we have a PFS inspector in our plant, walking our line, checking for any code issues that may appear on the line with the home. And then that also involves things like this with coming out for specialty tests and things like that. And you are specifically checking a double or a multi-unit uh, uh, we will today? actually today we're just checking a double wide but we will do single wides okay. um, this was just one that was close and available okay. for us to come to okay Basically, Daryl here is getting ready to pressurize the house. Uh, he uses the frame, and we have the cover over here uh, that'll allow us to steal off the envelope. We'll have two hoses, one inside of the building, one outside of the building. Um, and we will connect that to our large fan, which I think is... Right in the hallway. Yes. Um, and that will blow air in and out of the building. And uh, why did you pick the laundry room area? Is there any it's a centralized location. Okay. Um, Usually you need an exterior door uh, to allow the passage of air to come in. And that will allow us to measure the air changes per hour. And how long does it take to do the test? Not long at all. Okay. You'll notice right away. And it's safe for us to be in here when oh, it's yeah. air oh, pressurized? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we won't suck your lungs or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just curious. But just to give you an idea, sure. see how this is working like this? Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to put negative pressure on this house. See how this is sucking in? Oh, sure. yes. So as you suck it, and then what we'll do is once we get a, the meter sucked up, we'll be, we'll be good there. And those hoses will read the differential in the air pressure. So okay. Between indoor and out, and that's how you get it. It's like an EKG. It's longer to set up than it is for the test. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, actually. It's our Ghostbuster equipment. Pressure. So when the fan's on, just yell so I can catch your voice. I can't really filter that out. Okay, what we're trying to achieve here is we need to reach 50 pascals. A pascal, one pascal is like a sheet of paper as the weight of a sheet, sheet of a paper. So you would have like 50 sheets come through. So we're gonna crank this up a little bit until we reach 50. Or all the doors shut. The reading is 48.6 is the highest so far. Oh, there you go, 53.5, 55.1. So why are you looking for it to be exactly at 50? That's that way that that's the magic number that everything's tested by. Okay.
And what makes it vacillate so quickly between 49.8 and 53.5? The the it, it just works on, your, on the formula that you have for the air exchange. Okay. Tight house. Good tight house. Did yeah. you hear that? Yeah. Good news. Yeah, to come up this quick to hit hit the fifty pascals, yeah, it's, it's a lot of times it'll go through and I'll What's that? A lot of times it's, it's what? A lot of times you have to, you know, play around, you know, make sure things to get fifty and hold fifty. Um, just even getting to fifty a lot of times. If you have a window open or a door open. It'll never reach your 50 pass gust because you have so oh, much yeah, air leakage. Yeah, no, no, yeah. If you want to um, check for yourself, you can common locations of receptacles. You can put your hand right there. You can actually feel the air coming out of it. So that's bad or good? Uh, it, it's common. It's very common. Okay. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I felt it at our own home, and then I bought those little insulators mm -hmm. that go into yep. all the outlets. Yeah, very common problem. Windows, doors, obviously a big one, corners. So do you have to go around the house now and check different places? Yeah, I where was the doing air that. coming through? Yeah, yeah. Um, so is I'm this holding. a good day to do it when the marriage wall hasn't been uh, yeah. sealed? Yeah, Which actually. Better? Yeah, that, that's a great opportunity. I know what we'll do there is we'll do a positive test, and you go through and use a smoke test to see if it uh, sucks up yeah. any place where it's yeah. Yeah, so I just fell up in the corner. And it's still, we're still at our targeted goal, so that's pretty good. So who sets this targeted goal? Engineers that are much, much more above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed the equipment's Milwaukee something or other, yes. Gage Company? Yeah, uh, Milwaukee... So gauge company is that yeah. specific to this testing? Uh, they're they're one of the only few that uh, use the or make the blower door equipment itself. So. Okay. Is there different ways to test? Is this just one of them, or there are there are there's two types. There's pressurization and depressurization, and uh, it depends on what type of air leakage or infiltration you're testing for. Uh, and this we're using a negative, so that's depressure depressurization. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, you can feel that switches. If you get up on, I don't know how comfortable you are with heights, but if you can get up here, you can really feel it coming through. This crack right here, it's blasting air. So how long do you do the test? It's done already. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. There's no... Okay. Yeah, it's how long the test. Well, I just thought, like, how long do you already. run the test? Like get the bigger and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. I'll get to and then I'll go and get the flow. Yeah. Get the pressure loss. Okay. Okay. And then it's just a simple. So there's no like some of our other testing we have to maintain no. for 15 no. minutes. No. You'll know. As long as you're meeting that 50 yeah. pascal, and then we'll, we'll do the calculation of the flow, the flow versus the air loss. Okay. From the CFM. Okay. okay. If you can't reach the 50 pascals, you'll you'll know. You'll yeah. know you've you, the you test. Yeah. You can't check that. If you have all those rings off, this comes with three sets of rings. And that's to uh, allow the opening to be bigger and drawing in more air. So uh, usually a house is uh, at the B ring, which is like the second size. But if you have to take the A ring off and you still can't hit 50 pascals, you have a problem. So the air floor is important for health, like lack health of molding, yeah. In yeah. mold yeah. in the house. That's exactly what like, it, let's yeah. talk about what we're actually testing for. What would be a dangerous thing for a human being? Like, well, buildings, like humans, need to breathe. Uh, if you can't breathe properly, then, you know, you have an issue there. Um, so it's, you're, it's important, however you achieve it, whether it's passively or mechanically, you need constant good source of air. So not only that, this is also an energy saving thing, hence why Energy Star gets involved here. Um, if you have a very leaky house, and um, let's say it's, it's New Jersey and it gets very hot in here in the summer, uh, you're gonna overcompensate on your cooling because you're just losing air at a drastic rate. Okay. And how do these houses compare to like a stick built house? How would you? My unbiased opinion? Sure. They're 
just as good. My bias opinion, they're better. Really? Why is that? Because we have agencies like ourselves where stick belts really only rely on uh, a site inspector uh, or a local building official. Or in modular or manufactured housing, you have third parties like myself and Daryl here, and uh, we do regular inspections. And um, a lot of the buildings and structures that are made in the plants uh, are overstrapped, overprotected. Uh, because they are so uh, over inspected, I should say. Interesting. So there are many third party inspectors that work for HUD. Are you hired by HUD? Is that who? No, no, who? we are not. Um, we HUD requires it. Okay. But we are not hired by HUD. Okay. Uh, we're hired by the manufacturer. And he was saying that there's several third party companies mm -hmm. that do yeah. this, and there's not just a ton. one of them. Yeah, but there's a few. Okay. There's a few. We're one of the bigger ones. And what made you get into this industry? That's really interesting. I worked, I worked in a plant, oh. um, and I got friendly with the inspector that came regularly, and I just asked for a job. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's keep going with the rest of the... ...buying from the manufacturer that this is the Energy Star home of what? Oh, for the region? Yep. Yeah. So and the map? Yeah, I have seen this before. Yeah. Okay, that has all that. So you just put that up there right now? No, no. That's, oh, that, that was, was there? by the manufacturer. And basically what we do is we verify to make sure it's been completed. Because uh, we went to a home before that, that was Energy Star. And the first thing I looked for is this. And it was not an Energy Star home. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah. so what does Energy Star mean? Don, can you speak to that? It'd be a little more. It's, it's the efficiency of, of, yeah, yeah. of the product. So is it built differently than a non-Energy Star certified house? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somewhat. Yeah, your your insulation values are That's higher. That's what I thought. You're going your in with the values. Your are winter higher. values are higher. Yeah. Your water heater has to have higher efficiency. The ceiling um, of the building envelope in general, is, uh, they pay attention to it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Your uh, your furnace is normally upgraded yep. to either a gas or a high efficiency gas, depending on region. Right. Um, Automatic thermostat. Yeah. Set back. Yeah. We have that. Yeah. Different right. types of ventilation. Yeah. So it's really worth investing in your house and having that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fifty-two pascals on on the manometer. We're going to open the door and I'm going to show you the drop. Oh. Look at the look at the manometer. Okay. Go ahead, Jake. 51.8. Whoa, 35.6 and the whole vent opened up outward. Yeah. That just shows you what kind of a how tight your house is. Oh, look, it closed up again. The yeah. front door got closed. I heard it and yeah. now we're back up again. Yep. Yeah. That would be a case of you had one that's open. <laughs> You know, holes in the ceiling, holes in the vent, whatever. You would never be able to reach that uh, that 50 pascal. So that just goes to show you how how tight your house is. Very with nice. The, with the All that was the, the test with the front door opening. That's very nice. Just see if we can crack a window once, Jake. All right. Yeah. Take a look. Okay, he's cracking a window, and we're running back here to check the numbers. Oh, I see them. Oh. Cool. This yeah. is quite an adjustment. Yeah. That's your inside pressure versus the outside pressure. Very nice. Okay. Thank you very much for showing us. This yeah, is. They did that. My ears popped. Oh, they did. Depressurized. Well, repressurized, I should say. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for coming by, and we appreciate it. I hope all our viewers are coming to understand the quality and beauty, efficiency, innovative, modern appeal of manufactured housing. We're happy every day to promote it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We sort of classify this home as an Energy Star. There's an, Ener an approved third-party checklist for Energy Star. This is all done in the factory. So they'll go through and they'll verify all this. So we're allowing the manufacturer once they get certified to allow to do them and then what we do is we come back through and we spot check make sure that they're completing these and then we come back and then we do the final field test to make sure that everything is meeting so mm -hmm. there's you know there's checks and 
double checks. Wow. Which is so. something you wouldn't see on a stick built. That's what you were saying before. Yeah. This is a perfect example of it. So. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. So that was yeah. Daryl Weaver. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.